Bat season is typically July and August. That is when bats are their most active, uh, predominantly because the insect population is at its peak. One bat can eat anywhere from two to 3,000 insects a night. So they're our mosquito controllers. So they are very, very valuable to our environment. You just don't want them colonizing in your attic space. It's very, very important to know when the bat birthing season is. Bats give birth typically towards the end of May, start of June. And then it takes a good two months for those baby bats to grow up and learn how to fly. So no bat removals should be done from June 1st until July 31st. This is very important because we do not want to separate the mother bat from the baby bats. If the mother bats fly out and they can't get back in, then those babies are gonna die in your attic space, in your walls, we definitely do not want that happening. And keep in mind, bat colonies that we see can range in size from five to 10 bats to 50 to in the hundreds. So here at Skedaddle, we cannot do removals from the 1st of June until the end of July, just because these baby bats are not flying. So knowing these time frames, there is a real short window of opportunity with bats for when those bats are born, when they're flying. And then as we get into the, the end of the summer months, in September, we always are running up against bats are gonna go back into hibernation. By doing our exclusion work during the birthing season, leaving entry points open, this also prevents further contamination throughout the attic space and less of a cleanup and cleanup expenses for you as a homeowner. We then come back out the first, second week of August and put our one-way doors on to allow the bats to all exit by themselves and they can't get back. So just the many reasons, uh, with 31 years experience uh, dealing with bats, we have all the answers and the solution to humanely remove your bats, but most importantly, to seal up your home permanently and give you our lifetime guarantee. Thanks again. Any questions, we're always here to talk bats and other urban wildlife.